guys, I am finally back with another succulent video. It feels like it's been so long since I've done anything with succulents. Um, a lot of my succulents have been hanging out where I work because that's where I started them when Erin and I were moving. Uh, but I've been able to bring a few of them home. We're in our front sun porch right now. It's a little warm, um, so I'm probably glowing right now. But I've got some cool succulents and a really neat project, I think. Um, so this metal container, one of the guys at work put it together, welded it. Uh, and then Aaron and I took it and put three drain holes in the bottom and I'm going to use this as a centerpiece on my outside dining room table. Um, so not super worried about drainage because it can drain on this table. The table's glass, it's outside, I can clean it easily. So not super worried about it draining everywhere. Um, I have some really cool succulents. You know, a lot of people ask me what succulent that I think they should start off with, like good succulents for beginners. I would say, this is just my opinion, but I would say start with jade. Jade plants are so easy. Um, you can tell really easily when they need water. Their leaves start to pucker a little bit. They like, I don't know. I just like, I haven't had any problems with them with bugs or anything like that. So I'm gonna be using this one. I have some blue chalk sticks. I have an amazing echeveria I wanna use. And then a bunch of other little ones all around me. I don't even have these things organized yet, you guys. They're just like everywhere. <laughs> but that's okay, and I have more at work. Anyway, so I think we're just gonna speed up the planting process so you can see it come together. Here we go. Okay, so I've got the whole front done. I still have to add a few to the back so that it looks good from all the way around. Let me answer a few questions that I know I'm gonna get about this arrangement. First of all, are there drain holes in this container? Yes, I showed that at the beginning of the video. We punched three holes in here for drainage, so these plants will be happy. Second, what kind of soil do you use? I used Espoma cactus soil. It's my favorite, I really like it. The third question is, are these plants packed in too tightly because they look like they are and they're gonna overcrowd and kill each other? Not true. These are plants that like to be pot bound. They like to be smushed in together. In fact, they grow a lot slower when they are in close quarters. So with just regular maintenance, you know, regular grooming, I may have to pop one or two succulents out in maybe six months to make a little bit more room, but I can keep this going for probably one to two years looking like this before I have to do any major overhaul. Fourth question is watering. How often do you water it? That is so subjective. Um, it's really hard for me to tell you exactly how much to water. Mine, when they're outside in the summertime, it gets like 110 here. So I water mine a couple times a week. I water them lightly. Um, so I'm not like really saturating the soil to where you know they're bogged down. I just give them a nice little quick watering twice a week and that seems to do it inside in the winter time, every 10 to 14 days, depending on where you have it. Fifth question probably is how much light do you give your succulents? I give them four to six hours of morning light. Um, they would fry in our sun. I mean, these, especially the soft succulents, like these echeverias, they would just start to sunburn and they would look awful. Um, so four to six hours morning sun, they can take part sun in the afternoon. If that doesn't answer your questions, just ask me. Ask in the comment section. A lot of the time, if I am not able to get around to answering questions, a lot of you guys are really knowledgeable about these things and you can read comments and things and gather all kinds of information. Um, I do try to get to as many messages as we can. We've gotten pretty busy, which I love. I love your messages. I love seeing your pictures, especially. It's so inspiring to me to see what you guys are up to and what creations you guys are coming up with. It makes me want to get out and garden even more, if that's even possible. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this project. I will try to get some really good pictures of it where it ends up so you can see how it looks. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.
Hello? What's up? Oh, what is it? What, what'd you get? What did you get? Is it an animal? Is it a goat? Are you sure? Oh, okay, it's not a live animal. I'm surprised. <laughs> surprised you don't have a goat in your car right now. <laughs> okay, bye. <sighs> My mom called. She said she, she asked if I was gonna be home for a little bit because she just got something she wants to come show me, which usually means she's got like a goat in the back of her car or she- Donkey. A don donkey, she really, really wants miniature. Miniature donkeys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, so funny. You never know with my mom.